everybody, this is Praxis. I'm working down on this lowest level today, and one thing that I want to make sure that I have all set is this entire surface ready for the, the floor pour. And part of that is to get the spray foam around here. Now I want to have the spray foam come uh, just up to about the height of where the floor is going to be, uh, but I don't know exactly where that floor is going to be. I, I have the floor level set along the perimeter here, and I was thinking I could take a string and stretch a line from one side of the floor to the other and, you know, just find out where that the line is on here and make a little mark. The only problem with that, though, is that this is not directly b uh, between any two points that I have established on the floor because they're kind of set forward and I can't stretch a line from there over to here because the, the rope would be kind of out here somewhere. I, I need to get it right up against here. So I figured I could make a mark on this right here based on the uh, distance to the floor joist. You guys remember this tool we were using the other day? Uh, for kind of roughly establishing floor height. I made this so that it goes up to these little floor joists and the bottom of that is the height of where the floor is going to be. So if I take this, I can make a little mark right here on this platform. I'm glad that I kept this. The moral of this story is never throw anything away, ever. That'll work out in all parts of life. So I've got a mark here. Now you might say, well, why don't I just do it right in the middle here and get the mark directly? Well, because there's no floor joist right here. There's a floor joist here and a floor joist here. So I can get this distance right here. So I've got this point right here. I'm going to put a little nail in it and stretch the, uh, the string from over here. Now this is a chalk line, but it doesn't have to be a chalk line. It can be any kind of a string, really, as long as it is able to not slump. And this is going to reveal to us exactly where the floor is going to come up on here. All right. And I'm going to kind of put a, a little bit of weight on this so it doesn't move and pull the string straight tight. Oh, wow. You know what? That's actually uh, that's lower than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be up here somewhere. So the floor height is actually right down here. On top of that, we're going to be putting bricks on top. So I don't really have that much more to insulate. I guess I'm just going to put a little more insulation around here on the very bottom and then this part and up is going to protrude through the, uh, the co actually this part and the whole top is going to protrude through the concrete and then when I lay bricks down for the, the hearth area I guess they'll, they'll come up about that high and this will just stick up a little bit and then I'll just cut that with a, a hacksaw or something later so there's not that much more to do here I guess I've got kind of a mark right there um, so that's good news not, not a lot left to do on this guy. Uh, the other thing that I've been working on is uh, cutting some holes in here. Let me get rid of this. I don't need that anymore. Uh, cutting some holes uh, down into the floor here. Uh, as you recall, I laid cinder blocks down and some of them were facing upward so you can put your hands down into the, the cavities in there. And what I want to do is take some gravel and I get a little pile of gravel that is left and I can collect some from around here and put maybe half fill all of these little cavities with gravel. And the reason for that is when they pour the floor, I don't want the, the concrete oozing down into these and kind of uh, being kind of wet and slumpy that it could like slide underneath and actually fill in the tunnel. So I want to fill the bottom with gravel. So I do want concrete to go into these to kind of lock all these bricks in place, but I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom and kind of ooze into the tunnel area. So uh, I've been cutting all these open and I'm just going to shovel a little bit of the gravel from over there into each one, get them about half full, pack it in a little bit, and, uh, and that way when the concrete comes in, there'll be little half fingers that'll go into all these, really hold the floor in place, and uh, uh, it should work out pretty well. Uh, it's really windy and cold outside today though. I'm glad I'm inside. That's it. Thanks for watching.